Right, let's go. Strong hand, let's keep. Fair enough. So against Tron, I, I kind of feel like comboing is our number one priority. So I feel like I probably want to play the Greaves. It's definitely close. Might be a little slow, of course. So I guess our, our plan this turn is to go... Yeah, we can kill them next turn if we go Oswald, Stoneforge Mystic, grab Nettle Cyst. And the next turn we get to put in the Nettle Cyst, turn it into a Crackdown, and uh, win the game, hopefully. This line... Doesn't beat Worm Coil Engine, doesn't beat either Karn, doesn't beat... Most things. I mean, they have to card minus on Greaves, I guess. Also, if we draw the Crackdown, it's a bit awkward, right? I guess we could just cast it. Alright, they, they have to minus on Greaves or they're dead. Do they know the combo? Do they know the combo? They do know the combo. So, let's go for Ingenious Smith, I think. Grab a Citadel. Trigger. Get the second copy of Lightning Greaves so we can kill the Karn. You just have so many cards to just destroy us here. Karn Liberate is like, yeah, this is like one of the few things that doesn't just like absolutely destroy us immediately. So the Exile, the second copy of Greaves, definitely seems like they're pretty aware of the combo. So I think I'm just gonna have to try to win, you know, fair and square. I can go Spellskite, Oswald Spellskite into a second copy of Lightning Gre a second copy of Nettle Cyst, hit them for a bunch. Um, I can portable hole the Expedition Map 2. I guess that's the line. Oh, I can't equip it. I can't equip and portable hole. Get Needle named Ugin. Well, they would have cast Ugin last turn if they had it. But I guess I guess I'm gonna do that just or I'm gonna I'm gonna needle something. Since I'm not gonna spell skite this turn or sack the skite this turn, I'm gonna get a one. I think I should get needle. And I, I think I should probably get named Karn the Great Creator. Cause they have they have more Karn the Great Creators than they have Ugins, and they they would have Ugin last turn. O Stone. O Stone's maybe better than than the Karn. Uh, they would have played. They would have played. They would have. They would have played Ostone last turn too. But o Ostone's probably Rex is harder. I mean, we can't beat either. I guess. It's just. A, it's just guesswork. There's no like. I think. I. I don't think it really matters too much. Naming, naming either of those. We might have lethal next turn. Uh, might have to draw an artifact to have lethal. Uh, no, I think, I think we, have, yeah, sacking the spell sky, it's effectively plus five damage. Were we on the draw this game? I think we were on the play. No, yeah, we were on the play. Blast zone, okay. Taking that up to two is pretty scary, which they get to do here. Worm coil engine is also, uh, tough. 
I can't combo because they exile both my Greaves. Hmm. Yeah, the combo makes the guy infinitely big, can still be chumped, but you can get Shadow Spear potentially. Um, Shadow Spear for Trample. Well, I mean, I, I'm tra my 6-6 six, six will trample over there. My 7-7 seven, seven will trample over the 6-6. Six, six. Doesn't really seem... Doesn't really seem like the play. I think the play is cast Portable Hole, attack with the Germ Token. I really hate that I have to do this first because I would love to exile one of the tokens with the Portable Hole. Do with the Nail on the Snith. No, my, my line here I think is going to be make this attack and then I'm going to Oswald the Darksteel Citadel into Esper Sentinel. This way I have a a creature that's one mana and doesn't die to Blast Zone. It's not like, I don't, it's not, you know, probably enough to win here, but at least, at least it's a, a line. At least it's a line. Okay, so they get to sack the Blast Zone, kill these four permanents. It could be possible to make a budget version deck since you're without Mystic. I mean, the deck isn't like particularly budget without Mystic. You still have Urza Saga, Esper Sentinel. And you lose a lot of power when you cut Mystic too. Urza's Tower on top, technically a beatable card. <laughs> Technically a beatable card. Okay, something. Why is everybody playing Kozilek and Tron now? It's like the second Kozilek we've seen today. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the sort of Feast and Famine, the Damping Sphere, the Phyrexian Revoker. Portable Hole is good on turn one. It's like not very good usually after that, but probably good enough to keep in. Seems like we're like pretty in on the combo this game or this matchup. Cut the uh, Wellspring because of that, I guess. I don't think I want Dispatch. I guess I'll maybe play Dispatch over the Relic though, just one. All right, let's do this. But all sky, all's welding, spell sky for nettle system or two instead of since it'll be stronger. Yeah, we should have done that. We should have done that. Tough game for sure. Pro not, a, not a very good matchup either, of course. Got damping sphere in this hand though. This hand definitely has potential. Kozlek versus mill. I mean, main deck Kozlek though. I guess it's probably yeah, it's probably it's probably good in like the counter spell metagame. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. I think I want a portable hole the chromatic sphere, just because portable hole just doesn't do anything <laughs> except for this turn. And then I'll play the treasure vault because I don't want to commit my mana to playing saga. Let's make a saga token next turn. Expedition map. And Chromatic Sphere. Well, I wouldn't say no to another portable hole, I guess, but let's just put down the Damping Sphere, play Saga, say go. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the same uh, counter overlay. I'm gonna email the guy who made the last one and ask if he could do it again. I grab Urza's Mind, so they probably have an answer to the Sphere in their hand. I can Needle Blast Zone before Blast Zone can kill my um, My damping sphere though, so that's good at least. Season last three months was the last race much shorter. I think it was the same period of time. Last last time I did this, it felt a lot longer than three months. It felt a lot longer than three months. Okay, we can needle this. Hmm. I might play Greaves this turn so I can go Smith plus Greaves. 
It's like, I think it's a bit more mana efficient than just making another token. Where's my needle? I sighted out needle instead of relic? Did any, was any, did anybody yell at me? I didn't mean to cut it. That was unintentional. So embarrassing. Rut row indeed. Obviously it's not intentional. <sighs> Feels bad, dude. Well, I will, uh, I guess, just make them show me the land, and... Yeah, I I'm super dead if they just have the land, so... Feels horrible. It's kind of surprised nobody was yelling at me. Obviously, it's my own fault, but usually when I do something like that, people are yelling at me. I didn't mean to cut the needle. Obviously. How did that happen? They really don't have the land? They don't have the land! <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the land. Oh my gosh. I was like this close from shame ending the stream. Alright, remember to bring the needle back in. I was like this close to shame ending the stream. To a mirror. Uh, you can bring it in. We just have the damping sphere both times. It's not that good against Mono Green. It can occasionally like steal a game. It doesn't happen very often. It might be worth bringing in as just like as a bit of a YOLO. I can't believe it. I can't believe they just didn't have the land. Bailed out. Let me draw a card. Oh, awesome. This this is pretty cool that I'm going to get to maybe draw a card, but at the very least, I, don't, I just don't need to play Damping Sphere when they're not threatening Tron. God, with the raid. Thanks, dude. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. We're doing the trophy race again. <laughs> day one. Hasn't been going so well today. Um... I kind of want to get I kind of want to get feast and famine here with the missing land drops. I think we get feast and famine. Who's racing? I mean, it's not anybody in specific, right? It's just open to whoever wants to do it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people online saying that they're into it. Like, you know, Pi has been one. Uh, mana symbol, but it's just it's at the very at the end of the day, like the the race is just kind of me challenging myself to push myself as far as I can go. That's kind of always what it's been about. I'll play the Sphere this turn. Estimate on how many trophies to win. Uh, last time I did this I had 40 true trophies and lost, which is more than Punt had last season. Punt, Punt, I think, finished last season with, like, 35. Yeah, really, yeah, just losing my sanity for content. That's the the uh, unabridged version of that. <laughs> Can we get to draw two? Do they have a land? If they don't have a land, then we, we, uh, we have the needle. Okay, they have this... Okay, their life total just dropped, but they can't play anything. Uh, does that mean they have this? I guess they have gut shot. They just have to have gut shot. I I'm, I'm not gonna play around it here though. I think I I don't I don't really know exactly what's going on. They have they have to have gut shot. Okay, they they just don't. So they can't O stone me next turn. This is pretty over. Well, it's going to be defeating Tron. Despite miscyboarding horribly. 
Okay, uh, this hand has the combo. It's actually kind of interesting. Has land bobble. Let's go to six. This hand's stronger, I'd say. Keep this hand, put back the cauldra pretty obviously, and then... Lots of one of them bridge in the side. Uh, you could you could play it. It's just like I was thinking about it. And I was trying to figure out exactly what matchups it was good in, and it was like living in maybe reanimator, maybe not. It's just it's just a bit awkward too. Yeah, crimson vowel drafts go up tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what time tomorrow. Okay, so I want to draw the citadel. So I'll just go ahead and play the flooded strand, draw the citadel. Go sing for three months. Appreciate ya. Blooming Marsh, or probably Yogmoth, which I found to be one of this deck's just like best matchups. I'm like, like five or six and zero oh against Yogmoth or something. so much access to the main deck fifth needle which i might have to i might have to resign myself to not getting a token with with uh, the saga i would really prefer to get a token though noble hierarch birds of paradise uh the first trophy race was after image two it was like the second or third season after yeah, I think I'm going to make the token. I can get the Needle off the Saga, and it's just a much better use of my mana. And I'm not really in danger to dying to the actual combo here either. I consider one of Shuko. I'm not familiar with Shuko. Shuko these nuts? Hmm. Shuko these nuts. I'm not playing a second Needle on the board. I do have a Revoker. Yeah, I think Shuko's just like too weak of a card in individually to put in the deck. It does combo. Okay, they messed up. They should have floated mana there. Obviously not like the huge punt ever, but uh, they 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 it, it's actually a pretty big mistake to not float mana. <laughs> in that spot. And they're usually cold to Needle on Yawgmoth game one, which is, of course, really nice. Shugo Slash Greaves combos with the Crackdown uh, Construct. Can you explain the basic plan of deck? This is a mono-white mid-range deck with a lot of value two for one plays and disruptive elements that you can tutor for with Urza Saga and Oswald Fiddlebender. You also have an infinite combo with Lightning Greaves and Crackdown Construct, but it's really not like the plan A of this deck. It just is a one it's just one card that kind of incidentally fits in a deck with Oswald Fiddlebender and Lightning Greaves as a tutorable infinite combo. Okay, I think I'm gonna send both my tokens at Grist. I guess now I'm gonna portable hole the insect token. If they have cord, they'll cord maybe. How many times have I actually comboed? Like five or six probably. Someone in chat might be able to tell you, but it happens, it comes up. It's uh, it's definitely been relevant. It's felt uh, worth including and, you know, it, it kind of feels like not exactly like Splinter Twin, but you know, like a Twin's game game plan in most matchups, you know, was really like, I guess I, I guess that's an exaggeration. Like it's Twin got to play a good value game plan, just like this deck, and have access to an infinite combo, just like this deck, and the combo like lets you get out of really sticky situations and it lets you win games that you have no business winning. But it's really just not Plan A. Is this the biggest deck? It might be. This is like the uh, of the decks I'm considering for Vegas. This is the this is the deck I don't own, but I do I do have a close friend who has Hammer Time, so um, it might be possible for me to get my hands on these cards. <clears throat> I'd be I'd be missing like 
I don't have Oswalds. I don't have uh, a lot of like the goofy cards though. But it, it would be pretty cool to play this in Vegas. <coughs> I wonder how much equity I'd get from people just like not having any idea what's going on. Probably not that much, but a little bit maybe. <coughs> Sorry, I got the, a little bit of a quinoa down the wrong pipe. Yeah, yeah, Crackdown Construct is definitely worth the spot. It's literally, you only add one card to your deck that gives you access to an infinite combo that you can tutor for. It just It's just definitely worth it. I think, and you know, it is cool. And I know that we're talking a lot about it because it's cool, but it's really like just not that big a deal, you know? It's like, yes, it's worth playing. <laughs> yes, it doesn't change the deck that much. If I already own the Stoneforge and Saga, seeing this deck is worth building. Well, worth it is always, you know, something you have to determine. But uh, I like, I love this deck. I think it's really good and fun. Crackdown Contract is Splinter Twin. <laughs> so the Stoneforge is pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, the combo is cool. The combo is definitely cool. Yeah, ban all constructs. I guess I'll play Citadel. We are, of course, just like always, cold to force a vigor. It's, it's kind of a really tough card to play around. Grist would be not great. No, yeah, Grist would actually be terrible because they can minus on my Oswald. Necromentia. I, I have no idea what they're going to name. <laughs> <laughs> Oswald Fiddlebender? Okay, I'll make two zombies. Deal. I don't know that I've ever made zombies with Necromancia before. I haven't had like that many cast against me, to be honest. Looking for cards? Say the words. I have any zombie 75 hand delivered. I mean, I'm looking for Fell Stinger and Headless Rider. I don't need the rest of the 75, but I do need those. How did you get those already? I'm also looking for Chandra and uh, Wandering Mind and... Uh, I keep forgetting the name. The, the Vampire Groom. The Groom. Okay, Esther, thank you for letting me know. Have a good day of class. Um, I think I'll take the portable hole. So I'll open the door so Athena can ask. How often does the legendary castle come up? Uh, zero times, but of course, like, this just says you can occasionally protect Oswald from a lightning bolt, right? That's all this card says, or almost all this card says. And, or you can protect Gigantha from an Unholy Heat. It's, it, yeah, it's not going to come up, but it's also like, there's just almost no downside to playing this, right? Line thing for the one year resub. Oh, for Vegas. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I see, I see. That makes more sense. All right, 2-0. Three more, huh? The answer was Fiddlebender all along. All right, let's keep this. Um, I think I'm going to save the bobble to trigger the smith. I'll probably go turn two uh, smith bobble, and then on turn three I can play citadel trigger smith, and then saga will trigger smith on my opponent's turn. Get punished by Esper Sentinel. No Sentinels. Could be... This looks like mono white hammer with... Um, no companion. Another bobble. Hmm. I think I'll just take that. I don't really know what I want here. They have another copy of planes on top. I guess it could also be the mirror or some kind of mirror match. Castle also stone or ragman. Um 
Doesn't Castle say non combat damage? I could be misremembering. It's any damage? Okay, well. That's something, huh? Alright, they grab Shadow Spear, cast Esper Sentinel, Trigger Smith. They have Midmite on top. So their hand is. I guess they. Yeah, Planes. Planes, uh. Planes Midmite. Yeah, not gonna cast the bubble and let them trigger the. Yes, for Sentinel. No, I don't. I mean, I guess this could be. No, no, this is. We're just playing against Hammer. Yeah, yeah. Which is an okay matchup. I'm not sure about our hand here. In the matchup, I want to see them get cranial plating, or I guess I want to. I mean, yeah, I guess they, yeah, they have a lot of options. Them being mono white, they get nettle cyst, so they're not going to try to hammer me. I'm just going to play a more fair game, which I do feel like we're pretty well set up to to win. Smith is getting real big. 2-2 Construct. I think I'm making another Construct and then casting Fiddlebender after getting Springleaf Drum. Seems like it uses my mana the best. And then not playing Bobble for the extra power toughness because I let them draw a card off Sentinel if I play Bobble. Just doesn't seem worth it. You ever tried Bomat? I haven't. People suggested Bomat. I think it's like, it is worth trying. I just haven't gotten around to it. So, how big is their Nettle Cyst? It's one, two, three, four. Smaller than all my stuff, I guess. Hmm. What's the play? What's the play? Probably play Sentinel everything play bobble pay for their sentinel and then grab a portable hole for the shadow spear or the smith not 100 percent sure but i don't need to do that now i'll just attack first and and see how they block They double block and genius smith, that's fine. Go to one? I can't deal a sneaky one damage. Two drop greaves? Um I mean I could two drop greaves, but I think it's just like I'm just gonna win this creature combat. I don't think I need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna win in creature combat. I don't like think I need to go for the combo here. Hey Quinn, I was I've been meaning to email you. Any chance you can make the trophy graphic again, by any chance? If not, no big deal. It would be nice. Yeah, let's go just get the Shadow Spear off the field. This is a clear top five. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I might just have too many notifications now. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Blood Fountain. I don't think Splashing Black is good enough. Uh, yeah, you make your mana too bad to play Blood Fountain in this deck. Can you run Inkmoth Nexus over the castle? Is, I mean, the castle is like... The castle is worth playing no matter what. It's an untapped white source that has no drawback besides Blood Moon. The, ca the castle is just always worth playing. But Ink Moth Nexus is not like the most unreasonable card, but you, you need you I don't I wouldn't add any more colorless sources either. I think this deck is already maxed out on colorless sources. Okay. So I can uh I don't think I can win here. I can crack down construct combo. I can just get Greaves, Construct, but I can't they can just jump block it, of course. Um, I can get Shadow Spear, and the Ingenious Smith will be an 8-8. Eight, eight. 
which will require two blockers. They can they can they can block with two creatures here. Yeah, mortar pot would be pretty nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Wait, yeah, let's uh, get the shadow spear out there. I think this is you know pretty easily the best line. So if I attack with just the smith. They'll double block Stoneforge Mystic Smith. If I attack with both of these, then they can go. They they have they still have to put Stoneforge Mystic Smith in front of this. I guess they can also put Ornithopter Smith. But then I get to keep this. Yeah, yeah. So we we should have an attack with the construct. Should have an attack with the construct here. Construct and sack for needle. What do I name with needle? Hammer. I mean, I guess I, I, I am dead to the pure still paladin off the top, but oh no, I'm not. I can just block. No, they can make get flying again. So I killed the ingenious smith here. Keep two of their creatures. I gain a lot of life. And then I think I just pass. I don't think I play the second Oswald to jump with Oswald over Sentinel. Definitely a tense game. Dead the Pure Steel Paladin off the top. Looks like they don't have it. Plays out the second hammer, but then I just get to Portable Hole. The Oh, I even just drew Portable Hole for turn, but... Oh, I didn't have a zero mana artifact. Oh, I, I did have the construct, but yeah, I actually didn't have a way to get the portable hole in play. But portable hole plus equip up a game against hammer is really good because the matchup does get better for us post board. Get to bring in the dispatches, the Manriki Gusari, uh, the Revoker. Don't usually bring in the Ratchet Bomb. I think I'm also not going to bring it in against this mono white version. I'm going to cut the Relic of Progenitus, especially against the non Luris variant. Um, cut the Crucible of Worlds, and then three Sentinels. Usually, I'm, I usually cut three in this matchup. How's the trophy race? Also, what's with the outfit? Um, uh, I kind of had, like, this weak thing going where I was, uh, you know, last season I was the hero. This season I'm the villain. I'm dressed up as a Naruto villain. But the reality is this is my Halloween costume that got delayed in the mail. And I, I was excited to wear it on stream, and then it got delayed in the mail, and uh, I'm just actually wearing it now. That's the uh, that's the real story. I was trying to figure out, be like, yeah, I was the hero last time, I'm the villain this time in the trophy race, and I just, I just, I just couldn't, uh, I just couldn't bring it together. <laughs> this league shall no pain. <laughs> Hmm. They grab Nettle Sis, so I'm, I think, going to get uh, Manriki Gusari with my Stoneforge Mystic this turn. Manriki Gusari. Good name. So my opponent is going to Saga this turn. I think I'm just going to hold up Stoneforge. I can't exile a creature with Dispatch this turn. I guess I'll um, not be vulnerable to Pithy Needle here. You think they might name Stoneforge Mystic with Needle? There's like no way they do that with Stoneforge Mystic in play. I guess it, it does kind of time walk me, so I'll, I'll go ahead and just put my Nettle Assist into play. Springleaf Drum. 
Second copy of Urza's Saga is pretty scary. Although their clock's pretty slow. Okay, I don't actually need to be that scared of this. It's taking nine. I can exile this token next turn. Okay, that's a really good draw. Yeah, so let's just get Oswald into play. Exile this main phase. Pass back. Yeah, setting up for the combo is going to take a couple of turns. But ho I, th I think we're going to have enough time. We'll see. I'll probably this turn go double block the construct. Oh, if they do that, they just animate Nexus or make a token and then the double block doesn't work. So maybe just jump block with the to germ token. Hmm. Do you have other confirmed participants in trophy race? Uh, people keep asking me, but this is not like a formal challenge to any specific person. Just whoever wants to be a part of this can be. It's not like a very formal thing. So I can go Oswald, a land into Shadow Spear, equip Shadow Spear, equip Nettle Cyst. But I can't also dispatch. So I guess what I should probably do is portable hole a construct, dispatch the construct that they shadow spear. Maybe I should have also equipped. All oh, right, they get to put the they get to put in their nettle cyst. Not dead on board though. Oh, I'm dead on board, but <laughs> not with the not, not with the dispatch. And I could maybe 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 if I draw um, lightning greaves combo if they somehow are tapped out, which I guess is not that likely. Get the Shadow Spear. They equip onto the one, the new one, which is fine, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think I can win from this point. Might be able to get there in game three. Being on the play for game three is huge, of course. Yeah, if I had the ensnaring bridge, this would definitely be a spot where a bridge might win us the game. Naming a saga be okay. You can't um you can't name a land with uh Frexian Revoker. Yeah, yeah, Re Frexian Revoker can't name a land. It's name a non-land card. <laughs> okay, this hand is cracked against hammer time. Uh yeah, no trophy so far today. Don't know how late I'm gonna go. Apparently Athena needs to go out at some point soon. Might be finishing the stream with this league. I also have you know the stream in the morning and I've gotta get a hold of the Crimson Val cards. But I would really like to be on the scoreboard going into tomorrow. I would love to be on the scoreboard going into tomorrow. Hmm. Let's uh, Ingenious Smith here, I think. Cool. It's kind of hoping to find a land. I'll block if they attack. Didn't find the artifact land I was hoping for. You know, eight looks. Might have to let them draw a card if I don't draw a land. I probably can't just afford to have my whole turn next turn just be portable hole. Okay, so they're they're not making an Urza Saga token here, and they let me draw a card, and it's an artifact land. Okay, 
Uh, swingy, swingy, swing. Okay, but they have a hammer and they have metal crap. Oh, they, it's just a shadow spear. Just a shadow spear. Okay, this is pretty good for us. Um, they probably should go equip shadow spear to ingenious smith, attack for three, then move shadow spear over to Esper Sentinel. I'll go ahead and take the take the three. So here I think I'm gonna go portable hole, shadow spear, portable hole, pure steel paladin, play Oswald, attack for six. I feel like this shadow spear is really important to exile in this matchup. Could be better to leave a smith back to trade for their smith. I think that's probably correct. Uh, I think that with the Oswald in play, we probably have we're pro they're probably the aggro deck here. So they've already got the Shadow Spear. They've already got Springleaf Drum. They might have Needle. They get a second Springleaf Drum. So maybe next turn I'll go Chromatic Star and Chromatic Star into Phyrexian Revoker. Although I have a I have a Springleaf Drum too, so I guess Revoker is like not that good. Right, let's take this trade. I just go Ichor Wellspring into Nettle Cyst. Hmm. Let them draw a card. Unfortunately, they're really good Esper Sentinel for them. Okay, and then I guess I'm going to play Stoneforge Mystic here. And I should probably just grab Lightning Greaves. I feel like this, this is like a really clogged board state. And in two turns, I definitely see us being able to go for the combo. So I'm actually just going to, yeah, I mean, I can't attack anyways. Wait, and with their Shadow Spear being exiled, it's going to be really hard for them to break through this board state. They grab a Nettle Cyst, cast Nettle Cyst, trigger our Smith. They can pay if they want with the Spring Wave. They do want. Should you cut Oswald before you draw? Oswald before you draw in case you get the second Cyst. Oh, uh, you can't. You can't stack it. Uh, it it, ha it has to happen that way. I think. There's, no, the combo doesn't put them in the abyss because I'm also I'm also gonna set up for. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna go for it this turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the Shadow Spear off the Saga and then kill them next turn with the Saga too. So this turn, I think I'm just gonna hold up Stoneforge activation plus Saga activation. Can I also Oswald? Should I also Oswald? I can if I want to. I can. I can turn the Esper Sentinel into a Spellskite. That seems worth it. Now, this way my combo is also protected from removal. Perhaps I give it the 16 months, appreciate you. Both place are in the race. Race started today, race started like an hour ago, so we're in la tied for last place, and there are currently six players tied for first place. No, I haven't locked in what I need to play in Vegas. Hey, when do I need to have my deck list in for Vegas? Can somebody remind me? Come back, turn to second Greaves. I don't need a second Greaves. Now? Mm, yesterday? That's not true. Whoops, I messed up. Actually, I need to make a token. We'll be okay. Oh no, I meant to, I didn't have a stop set. I meant to make a token and then there my germ token doesn't die. It's okay. It's okay. They're still dead next turn. I believe that there is text coverage in Vegas, not uh, real coverage. 
above my pay grade. All right, we win. I think I don't really know how they could possibly get out of this. They're doing something. They're making a token, okay. Yeah, it's not a Watsi run event. You can't blame Watsi for this one. You may, maybe you can. You can blame whoever you want for whatever you want. All right, GG. It's gonna be a, a few clicks, huh? It's gonna be a few clicks. <laughs> But uh, this is uh, infinite power, infinite infinite uh, toughness, haste, trample, lifelink. Can you personally ask them to do coverage? Mm, I could, but I think I'll just look down and whisper no. Yeah, not, not, as far as MTGO infinite combos go, not too bad. Okay, let's go. Two more. Two more to get on the board. Fiddle successfully bended. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Thoughts about Team Rhinos updates if any of the Crimson Vow. Uh, I don't think that I... Uh, I don't think there are any updates with Crimson Vow. Unless I'm missing something. That one's free. Now I would probably recommend the four color Yorion variant. All right, breeding pool noble hierarch. Odd. Easy portable hole, I guess. So probably Bant Spirits. I think we'll get the fiddle bender down. Playing in Span Spirits at 3-0. I always feel like this time slot is like <laughs> it is so different from the time slot I usually play in. I'm gonna name plus two mace. <laughs> Any card besides Oswald Fiddlebender is a good card to name there, because I'm just gonna sack it immediately. I think I'm just gonna get the Ikor Wellspring. I could also get Lightning Greaves and try to, you know, go for the combo. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually just gotta be better. Just not at any point if they tap out uh, and I draw land, I can, I can get them. And not playing into a spell caller here is kind of nice. Oh, I guess they all have haste here. Attack for four. So maybe this baits the spell queller. Not great, not great. Guess it lets me try to bait. Oh no, Shacklegeist is really good <laughs> against uh against the uh crackdown construct. This how much? This is seven. I think I just have to go for it. I don't know. Any creature gets me. Okay. So I think if I portable hold there, I have to portable hold there. Uh, Supreme Phantom, and then I not I go to one on board. Why no equip Greaves? I guess it just doesn't matter, but we should equip Greaves. They're just pretty light on removal in general. I should equip it. I should have, I should have put it on the Oswald. Uh, if they have nothing in their hand, though, and they attack, they do die, so... We can beat exactly nothing. Oh, I have to draw a land, too. Didn't draw the land. Dang it. Do I have another line? Does uh, Shadow Spear get me out of the spot? I don't think so. Shadow Spear 4, power here. 
That's not quite enough. Game two. Yeah, 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 I should have equipped. Okay, we'll bring in the copies of Dispatch. Torpor, Absop, Spellqueller, Skyclave. It's probably, probably pretty good. Let's stop some of my cards too, though. Does seem worth. Cut the Relic of Progenitus, cut the Pithy Needle. Probably cut the Crucible. A, I mean, Smith is just so good. Oh, I should, I need to be, I mean, I need to be going down on Esper Sentinel, actually. Do I want Needle? I don't think Needle's good. Just play two Sentinels, I guess. I guess Needle could stop Vile. Yeah, it's probably enough of a reason to have it. It's opposite, like, other boring cards. The orb does not stop living weapon. The combo is Crackdown Construct plus Lightning Greaves. And then that's infinite power haste, and you can also make it trample life link with Shadow Spear. We haven't killed anybody without the Shadow Spear. It's kinda it's it's really kind of a three-card combo. Alright, let's keep this. It's a good Stoneforge Mystic matchup. Don't think you can do that uh, that three mana. Yeah, it, uh, I need to draw a land last turn. Last turn, if I drew a land, I could just go. Uh, I, I could I couldn't do the shadows with it, but they didn't have a blocker up. So if I drew a land, I could cast the Dental Cyst, Oswald it into Crackdown Construct, and uh, attack for infinity. And if they had nothing in their hand, we would have won if we had drawn the land. Kataki's a spirit. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't believe in Kataki. I'm gonna get Shadow Spear here. I don't believe Kataki exists. Still don't believe Kataki exists. Honestly, it's all said and done. It's like as good as Kataki ever is. Golly, opponents. So this is how we die to double Kataki. So I'm gonna pay for Citadel. Not for the portable hole. I mean, we're just all in on the Cauldre, really. No! Damn it! Damn it! I paid for the portable hole. I misclicked. Damn it. I still get to put Cauldron into play next turn, but it's just... We really couldn't afford that misclick. He's like... Like, 3-0. See, we're behind. These moments are just so freaking tense. All of on Cauldra, I can pay. It's just so bad if we just if we just get that extra attack, like we're we're so much more likely to win. We also like, you know, have to like play game three on the draw against an opponent with multiple Katakis, which is obviously not a good place to be. Why'd you pay for the hole? It's a mistake, chat. It's a mistake. No attacks, okay. Pay one. Attack was for six. Okay, they take it. Now, now Cauldre is lethal. I can't believe I missed an attack and I'm in this spot. It feels so bad. But they also can't, they can't Skyclave this. They can't, uh... It's really hard for them to interact with, to be honest. I 
Okay, I'm going to attack for six, I think. I guess if they have rattle chains, yeah, if they have rattle chains, like, if they put this here, then they have to put both spirits in front of my other thing. Wow. Well, uh, this is like the most tilted I've been in a game of Magic in like two months or something. And I think we're gonna win. I guess that's just like how she goes. <laughs> Although like we have to win game three against an opponent who has multiple Katakis. It's not looking good. I can't believe we beat two Katakis. One of them killed like four artifacts and I even misclicked. Cauldra seems good in this matchup. Was Prismatic ending on top with? Oh yeah, yeah, that was more tilting. That that one that one was worse. That one was a lot worse. Yeah, the tilt can always overpower. <laughs> uh, tilt can always overpower your opponent. All right, let's. Uh, I think I'm gonna resubmit and uh, try to collect ourselves. I don't think I want Ratchet Bomb. It's like really, really slow. I do like that this hand can Oswald a Citadel into Portable Hole. I'm gonna keep. What happened to cause the tilt? I, I, my opponent Katakied and I misclicked and I, I meant to pay for my Citadel and I paid for my Portable Hole that had another Kataki under it instead. And so I missed it. So I didn't get to attack with the Cauldre for, for an extra turn, which was obviously like really punishing, but it didn't end up, uh, Really losing us the game. If they put Kataki here, I think I just have to let Sentinel die. Okay, not, not playing Kataki here. Hmm. So I'm gonna play Oswald this turn. Do I wanna play Saga though? So I feel like I'm not like that likely to activate Saga next turn. So I think I'm just, I think I'm gonna play the Citadel instead. Pass back. <laughs> Next turn I can play Greaves. I'll have, I'll have Dispatch Mana up, or Dispatch Artifact up. Metalcraft. That's what it's called. So. Playing Greaves into Spell Quality doesn't seem that I, that optimal. I can try to portable hold. I can portable hold Dark Steel Citadel into, or put Dark Steel Citadel into portable hole. That's bad against Rattle Chains. But I think if they had Rattle Chains, they would have not played the Supreme Phantom on turn two. So I think my plan here is to portable hold the Phantom, then cast Lightning Greaves off of Saga. Say go. Again, yeah, I mean, they obviously could have drawn a return. My read could be wrong, but I think generally if you have the, the option between Rattle Chains and Phantom, you play, you hold up uh, Rattle Chains instead. All right. So they got the Spell Quality of my Greaves. It's not the end of the world. Don't have white. What? Hi, Eric. Two cards left in their hand. Consult the deck list. Again, tor I can get Torpor Orb by sacking the Sentinel. Don't love that, to be honest. I'm just gonna make a token. And uh, Shadow Spear should be pretty good at racing. What is the command for turf account? This is the first day of the race. It's it's zero. We have we have zero. Four three and zero oh in game three right now. And then we, we the same guy who made the 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 leaderboard for last season is gonna make it again for us this season. Shout out to Quinn. Sea Chrome Coast. All right, so we'll make a token. See what we draw, of course. Citadel. 
If I make another token here, I can't equip Shadow Spear. I feel like equipping Shadow Spear is pretty important. Could have maybe turned the Sentinel into a Spell Skite first. Kind of just waiting for them to make the first move, to be honest. Well, that just worked. All right, let's sack the Sentinel. Drawing a card in response. Yeah, just get Torpor to play around Skyclave on the another queller so i'm gonna i think i'll just i'm gonna target i'm gonna use the dispatch they're gonna wander in response but just like playing this before they can greaves is nice and i'm okay just like dispatching the wanderer can't skype sorry yeah not not the concert the shadow spirit skyclave the shadow spirit and the, sh the shadow spirit is like really hard for them to raise they can attack for six but again they're just they're just not racing oh wow <laughs> Maybe they're racing. Oh, so I can I can sack the Torp Orb and grab Nettle Cyst, which is a ton of damage. Don't think it's lethal. Oh, I can I can Ichor Wellspring too, but I I, can also, I can't also equip. Um, so, so this is, so if I get Nettle Cyst, this can be plus six, plus six, so 12, 12, Trample, Life Link, which, um, will make the block with two creatures. Seems like the line, even though I lose the orb, I also, of course, gain a bucket of life. Dispatch Drug Souls, you don't die to more lords. Wait, what did I miss? I don't have Dispatch in my hand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're, what you're missing, but... Oh, they can only block... I didn't realize they could only block with one. Did I miscount on how much this added? I mean, either way, they have to jump block and... Gain a ton of life. They really can't race this. And e even if they have Skyclave now, it's just, like, not good enough, really. I guess they can get rid of the Shadow Spear, but they're in the Abyss. Okay, that was like maybe the, the like that game too is like unreal, like the the misclick there it was just so stressful. But um, we have our very first trophy prediction of the season. Lost the die roll. Playing against the Luris deck, definitely going to keep. This going to be very good on the play. Put out to Moles to six, Conceal Courtyard on one. So they're playing Hammer Time. We beat the um, non Luris version of Hammer Time earlier this league. Can we beat the Luris version? Maybe. I think I'm snapping off this trade. My hand's pretty weak to Sentinel. Also, like, is it, it, it hurts their Metalcraft, too. Then, really easy, <laughs> kind of no decision here to play Oswald. And then I, I'm going to play the Bobble, and I'm going to wait on cracking the Bobble. I might want to sack it to the Oswald. Okay, so they're going to hit me for 12, and then they're going to move their hammer over to the the Ornithopter post-combat. I can Oswald for Portable Hole, XL the Paladin, but I need to have a blocker or a Portable Hole for the Ornithopter, which means I need to find a land, which I think means I have to sack the Bobble. Oh, I can hold the hammer. I mean, I mean, yeah, with them doing this, with them searching up hammer, I really want to hold the paladin. They didn't move the hammer! 
They're drawing Urza Saga next turn, which is a huge problem. It's a really, really big problem. But they uh, did not hold a... They did not move the hammer. So now I get to go Stoneforge Mystic, Springleaf Drum, sack the sack a, sack a Treasure Vault, Portable Hole. Do I want to play Urza Saga or do I want to play... Yeah, I think I want to play Saga. I'm actually, I'm actually almost like set up to combo here too. So I'll get Nettle Cyst for the combo. Urza Saga. They're drawing Urza Saga, so I, I'm gonna take one point of damage here. Saga's not great at this moment. This 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 saga is gonna allow me to Shadow Spear in two turns and kill them with infinite trample damage. Sorry, I, I didn't articulate that, but that's why I played the saga here, because I'm gonna trample and kill them. Yeah, I am blasting music right now. I need to turn it up even more. It's an interesting draw. Okay, so next turn, I need one mana for Oswald, two mana to equip Shadow Spear, and two mana to put in Lightning Greaves, potentially. Yeah, so I, gu I guess this turn, I need to hope that they... What can they even draw? Their hand is just Lurus. Their hand is Lurus Hammer. If they draw Paladin... It, yeah, they, they have to draw, like, Paladin into Shadow Spear. Or I guess just Cigar Aid does it, too. I don't think I can play around it. I, I, I don't think there's a way I can play around it. Yeah, if I can dodge Cigar Aid, though, I think we win. They're dead next turn. Their hand is Lurus, Colossus Hammer. Hold the Thopter, play around. The, pr the problem is I don't have enough mana to combo next turn if I hold the Thopter. Oh, I should uh, equip the Greaves, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. If I hold the Ornithopter, I can block the Hammer creature. Yeah, but, ah, maybe that's better. I don't know, like, I might just die to the Urza Saga tokens if I wait. Like, they're, they're gonna get a Shadow Spear. I think this is better. This board say doesn't say dead next turn. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's very sneaky. Then else this can make mana? No, I don't. I, it's it's still not enough. I, I would need to, I need would need to draw a land. This this line means I don't need to draw a land. I just have to fade top deck. I have to fade exactly top deck cigar to Zade, which I think is fine. And they drew Urza Saga, and we win if we don't draw a uh, Crackdown Construct for turn. And you, we can't we can't upkeep Fiddlebend. You have to you can only activate Oswald at Sorcery before anybody asks. So we have a one in forty five chance of not just winning on the spot. Oh, I forgot to tap my Saga for mana. I was so nervous. But I think it's, it's still fine. We win. Yeah, I didn't need the... I had the Spring Leaf Drum. Let's freaking go! Let's freaking go. It's a lot of clicks. Still two more games. First time my opponent's making me fully click it out, but it's like, it's... What's great about this combo compared to like Heliod or Splinter Twin is you, you actually can't mess it up. And before I figure out how to mess it out, some, mess it up somehow. Alright, so they can block with 
eight points of toughness and gain three, so effectively 11. So I need this to be 31. I'll just get this up to 40. Yeah, I need to make sure I leave the Greaves on the Construct when I go to combat. I de that's definitely the kind of mistake I can make when I'm this, like, anxious. I guess I'll also, uh... Okay, they conceded. <laughs> that was a great game. That was a really cool game. Just, like, every decision I felt like mattered so much to that game. And this has been my cyborg plan. I think I'm going to stick to it. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get the run, huh? Bring it home. Why keep it one sentinel? The first one's usually okay to draw. Uh, you don't, you really don't want to draw multiples. The card's not good. It does, you do get to draw a card sometimes, but I really don't want to draw two in this matchup usually. Thank you, Notorious. Mulligan this hand, I think. Go to six. Put a cup six. I don't really like this hand very much. It's probably better than probably better than the average five though. Really cold to uh Esper Sentinel. They probably take my ingenious smith here, I'm not sure. They might take drum. Uh, Spells, yeah, Spells Guide does not stop equip. You can't, you cannot equip an equipment you control to a creature you don't control, so you can't change the target. Top card is a land, which I am not in the business of uh, throwing away here, so we'll just uh, draw it. It is Secret Foundry. We'll see if the uh, two life gets me this league. I guess I'm down to draw Saga. We drew Dispatch too. It's grabbing Bobble consideration. Your opponent thought he's inside one land. Maybe they revealed another Dark Confidant here. Maybe I I don't I don't think I love that line, but. It doesn't seem like completely unreasonable either. If I had a portable hole, maybe I'd consider that block a little bit more seriously. Here, I, I think I'm just going for the combo again over the course of several turns, maybe. They revealed Cigar to Zay. They also revealed Needle. Okay, well. Maybe we just have to settle this in game three. Drum. If I play drum, I could play drum and and let them draw a card off Sentinel. But they're already drawing so many cards. I'm not sure it's worth it. I'm down to block here. At least with the constructs. It it could be better to try to race because they have two they have two bobs and a clearing. They might deal themselves enough damage. Just don't think it's that likely. They're gonna name Oswald with Needle, I assume. Which is maybe, which maybe, maybe I should have blocked because of that. Stone Forge. So we know they have Cigar to Zade, so now they have Aid Hammer. Did not draw a very helpful card. So I, I. I have Metal Craft here. I guess I don't have to play the drum and let them draw two cards. I 
Can't you needle the hammer? They have they, uh, Needle does not stop hammer when they use Cigar to Zade on it. But I can exile the creature that they put the hammer on here. And we know that that's two of their four cards, a Cigar to Zade plus hammer. So I, I have to imagine that that's uh, what they go for in the spot. Thank you for sub Wix. Uh, you have to click share the, uh, share the subscription to get the nice little fun message. That Paladin is a problem for us. I feel like you should have gone the race of the constructs with two bombs, Shadow Spear. Yeah, maybe. Definitely a difficult spot. Okay, if we can draw a portable hole, we've got a chance. So I can play either Springleaf Drum or equip the Shadow Spear here. I think I'll just finally get the drum out, maybe. Yeah, they've got they've got a needle. Oh wait, I've, I, I oh they, we killed the sentinel. Sorry, I thought that the the reign of Esper Sentinel was still going. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Shadow Spear on the Oswald, I guess. Okay, we can do both. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking that they had the Sentinel still in play. All right, they have another Cigar to Zade, which is one of the worst draws in their deck. Um, they also have two other cards, and they have Silent Clearing, and they have Luris, but we're not zero percent. In fact, if they just can't find Shadow Spear here, then we probably do get to untap. Oh, I, I guess we don't. They, sorry, no, they just have Cigar to Zade, what am I saying? They, they, ha hammer or uh, Shadow Spear do ascend. Uh, and now they get to Thought Seize my Cauldra. Put, me d put, me d put them down to five. Put, me down, put, put them down to five, uh, but the Cauldra is just no longer able to like threaten, threaten them. Why not equip the Saga token? Because I'm going to chump block this turn. I need, to, I need to chump block Dark Confidant. I'd rather chump block with the Oswald than the Construct token. Because the Oswald is needled. For every trip fee, I'm waiting. I'm donating five bucks to St. Jude's. That's awesome, dude. Very cool. That would be really cool. Maybe I'll uh, try to get in on, in on that too. Okay, so they moved the hammer over, so Dark Confident died. Not 100% sure that that was intentional. It probably was. Lure us into the hand. Shadow Spear, or Portable Hole, lethal again. Again, didn't draw it though. So I can go Treasure Vault. Treasure Vault, activate Stoneforge Mystic. Equip Nettle Cyst, equip Shadow Spear by tapping the Germ Token. And so it, that'll be, they have to chump block actually. Right? Because we do the artifact lands. It's gonna be a 13, 13. They can, they can double block. They can double block and then trade. So do I, do I, uh, do I double equip and just, and just say go? And then next turn I can activate Treasure Vault to get through. I think I'd just say go. Attack, I'll gain someone's life. I lose the game if I attack. I think. And I, I, I think I'm set up to have a really good attack next turn too if they brick. The life gain seems good. I think you guys are being a little short-sighted. Especially because next turn Treasure Vault, Treasure Vault uh, like buffs th buffs this enough to where I can actually have a favorable attack next turn. I think maybe not through the Saga token. Although I, I'm still in the spot where if I draw Portable Hole or Dispatch, I win too. I'm in, I, I'm in the spot where if I draw Portable Hole or Dispatch, I win. I think still, assuming they brick again. And then if I draw a land, I can make three treasure tokens, which effectively buffs the constructs. 
plus four. So they're gonna go. Wait, they're they really going for Dark Confidant instead of a Saga token? Deal. Do they play push? Not usually, no. Oh, they put the hammer over to Luris. Okay, okay, okay. So I can still portable hole the hammer though. Yeah, portable hole is still a win. Dispatch is still a win. I have six outs. Which is honestly like oh yeah, I could also draw another nettle cyst would be pretty interesting. Oh uh, yeah, I, I mean to be in this spot after oh I could also draw Manriki Gusari or Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, I actually have like a billion outs. <laughs> billion outs. Okay, so I guess we're on the Treasure Vault attack line. Wouldn't Dispatch not work since they can only... Since they can instant speed equip the hammer? They can't instant speed equip hammer. Cigar's Lady lets them cast hammer at instant speed. Paladin lets them equip for zero mana. They can't equip at instant speed for zero mana. Grab Companion. Uh, treasure, treasure Vault is better here than Companion, I think. Yeah, so the Treasure Vault, that's, I can go... One, two, I can make three tokens, which is plus four, plus four to this, to make this a 17, 17, so it's... Assuming I did my math right there. They also get to gain a ton of life, so I don't know. They also get to uh, get a hammer at the very minimum off their Saga. Uh, I get to get enough life to where I'm not just dead to that, though. Yeah, I'm at 32, so I'm not dead to two hammers hitting me. I'm confused why you attacked this turn, not last turn. My construct died last turn if I attacked last turn. I also had like a million outs this turn that will put me in a spot where I won the game if I attacked this, if I waited a turn. And I, I if I attacked last turn, I lost my construct and I had no chance to win the next turn. This last turn, if I drew Portable Hole, Dispatch, Stoneforge Mystic, Manriki Gusari, they're dead. Or maybe Nettle Cyst too. I'm not, I'm not sure about the Nettle Cyst. So that that's why I attacked. What did they reveal to Bob? They revealed hammer to Bob? Uh yeah, I guess we're dead. Crazy game. So maybe maybe the line was to only make two treasure tokens so I could leave the Stoneforge back to block. I guess that was better. Such a complicated board state. Get to be able to play for game three. Do you feel pretty good on the play? Let's go. Keep a nice seven card hand, hopefully. So this is a seven card hand. It's not that nice. I think it is a keep though. I know it doesn't have white mana. We can get white mana with Urza Saga. I think I'm gonna wait a turn on the needle. Got punished. Oh, I, I guess not really. Okay, here. I mean, I want to play Saga this turn. I guess I should just, I should just Fiddlebender. And... Is it extremely slow? I think this hand's fast enough on the play. And we also ripped the white source off the top like a pro. Fiddlebender on the play is really good in this matchup. You can like, it's often just like a, a steady string of portable holes. So I can portable hold the needle if I want to. It's probably only good if I draw a white source. <sighs> so what a headache. I'll just ingenious smith this turn. I, don't, I think trying to decide whether or not to like unlock my... I think I'll take the Revoker because I'm kind of choked on white mana. I think the decision to like unlock my Oswald or Exile the Cigar to Zade is a really difficult choice here. And just like waiting a turn for more info, I think is fine. I don't think they have Hammer. I think they would have, uh, I guess they, I guess they would have wanted to needle the Oswald first. Yeah, but they don't have Hammer. Okay, so. I don't know what the play is. Trigger, Trigger Smith. 
that's definitely part of this. I feel like with my with how constricted my white mana is, I feel like I just should exile the cigar to Zade and attack for four. So I guess I'll just attack for four first. And then I get to then then I feel like I can race pretty well. Get rid of the confidant. I think that that is also like a totally valid line. The problem is, ugh, am I just wait? Am I just letting them draw two? No, I, I don't know why I forgot about the second sentinel. Yeah, I'll just pay. Maybe I, maybe I do exile the bob, but then they've got the saga. Yeah, with the saga, I just have to exile this, and then let's needle colossus hammer. Or maybe I should needle. No, yeah, I don't want needles. Uh, I don't want to need all Shadow Spear because I have Shadow Spear. Get a Planes Left Dark Confidant. Ink Moth Nexus. Attacking for five. How big is their construct? One, two, three, four, five. Possibly six, six. So I guess I can't attack with my Ingenious Smith. No! I'm sorry. Obviously, I needed to make a token there. I I totally meant to. I don't know exactly how I misclicked that. This is just like a super game losing play to not have a token here. Painful, painful, painful spot. Four mana draw a card. Can't attack. This is game three. Can't believe it. Can I even survive next turn? I guess the play here, the play has just got to be Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic, grab Nettle Cyst, cast Nettle Cyst, let them draw two cards. But now I've got a big blocker, and if I draw Portable Hole, I can next turn go Portable Hole, Exile Needle, get um, get Crackdown Construct. I, I'm, also, I'm one mana short of it, also equipping. This line plays to crack down construct a little bit. And also means I'm not just dead on board. Yes, yeah, so if I make a token here, if, or if I had make a token, we'd have, they'd be two nine nines instead. We'd still honestly be like super, super behind. My opponent naturally drawing the needle for Fiddlebender in games two and three was like really backbreaking. I am sure you want sense on the play. What would you cut? They really don't have that many non-creature spells. They, they do have a decent amount, or they do have some, but it's like, they have way more non-creature spells than you. So if I draw Portable Hole, I Portable Hole the Needle, get Crackdown Construct, cast Greaves, I'm just one mana short of also equipping the Spear. Was it ever Hold the Needle to unlock more Needles? Maybe, it's like we just really needed, <sighs> I don't know. This was a super difficult game to navigate. One that I really just couldn't afford to misclick on like I did. Draw land from Wellspring. I mean, I can't, I can't sack Wellspring into a crackdown. <laughs> yeah, I pray for the opponent disconnect. How much did the misclick matter? It, it mattered a lot, I feel. It's like we like had we were probably we were behind still, but we had a chance to like to win this game potentially like fairly. But now it's like we really had to like hope for the combo. And now that they thought he's my greaves, I don't know that that can really happen. Prismatic ending my shadow spear. Hmm. Make a token. I can double block this token. Hold on, double block. 
I'm just dead. I double block here, and then I have to chump block. I guess I'll chump block with Stoneforge Mystic and try to draw a portable hole for Needle, but I just can't draw anything. Yeah, I guess it's not in the cards, chat. Or maybe it was in the cards and we just couldn't get here. It feels bad. It, feel, it really felt like we were we were destined to get here after uh, we won game one of match five. We beat the Kataki. Just wasn't meant to be. But, you know, heartbreaking day to the first, uh, for the first day of the race. It's a long race. A long way to go. I'll probably play a little bit off stream tonight, but I got a lot of prep work to do for tomorrow's stream because I want to play with some Crimson Val Brews. Yeah, Doubters rewarded. Doubters are probably rich.